So, Lazar, can you describe me your debate background and the experiences with debate you have so far? Uh, yep. Well, I've been uh, I've been to the Global Youth Forum. Uh, this is my seventh time on the Global Youth Forum. Once as a debater, once as a coach, and five times as a trainer. I've been a trainer of the MTT track, and this year and last year, and the year before that, uh, I've been doing CJT with coaches and judges track. So, what does it mean to be the leader of the coaches and coaches and judges uh, track? Uh, technically, the difference is the difference isn't that big. Um, the leaders of the tracks are slightly more responsible about the curriculum of that specific track, uh, and in 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 terms of coordinating all the other trainers in that respectable track uh, to to make the sessions to make the lectures. Could you describe your methodology when you teach debate to, let's say, high schoolers and the coaches and the trainers? What are the differences between two of them? When we're talking specifically about the Global Youth Forum, uh, for example, the MTT track is really different from the coaches and judges track. Uh, not only in uh, what we cover in that track, but also in the methodology we use. Uh, in the coaches and judges track, we focus a lot on discussions uh, we focus a lot on sharing knowledge uh, from these coaches and trainers and judges uh, from different debate communities uh, because a lot of them come from different debating backgrounds so we are kind of taking advantage of that uh, so we are sharing a lot of uh, knowledge and a lot of you know institutional memory from those debate communities. Uh, how do you frame the lessons when you're talking about specific issues? Do you add your subjective opinion maybe? Oh yeah, yeah, all of us do. Uh, and that's something we encourage the trainers to do. Uh, for example, when we covered the elements of debate, uh, we covered them uh, in the respect of the Karl Popper format, but we also add a lot of subjective subjectiveness in those sessions. Uh, every trainer, we have, because we have a very diversified pool of trainers, so we try to encourage those sessions to be as subjective as possible. Uh, have you encountered any obstacles or difficulties up till now, let's say, I don't know, institutional, organizational, pedagogical maybe? Uh, well, specifically if we're talking about the Global Youth Forum, uh, in my experience that never happened. Uh, usually coaches and judges are very eager to contribute in the discussions we're having, uh, and usually it goes really smoothly. Uh, in terms of my debate personal experience, uh, yeah, sure, we've faced like I'm coming from Youth Educational Forum in Macedonia, so we have faced some challenges in terms of how to conduct debate in schools, etc. But that's a long story. So, so what is the effect of teaching debate and using debate as a technique on the, let's say, high school and students community and the community in general in Macedonia? Uh, well, when we're talking about the Global Youth Forum uh, in the coaches and judges track, for us it is essential that um, we we kind of contribute to the knowledge that these coaches and judges already have, so then they can uh, go back to their debate communities in their own countries and share that specific knowledge. Uh, and I think that's a very valid idea of the coaches and judges track. Uh, in terms of Macedonia, I think that uh, having probably one of the biggest delegations on the Global Youth Forum, I think it's a very valuable experience for our country because we can do the same thing. We can go back home, we can talk to the other trainers that we have in Macedonia. Uh, so it, and that's probably one of the best ways to enrich not only the knowledge of the trainers but also the curriculum in that in those debate societies, etc. How is debate perceived in Macedonia? Uh, well, well, that's a difficult question to, to answer. Um, in Macedonia, uh, there are uh, there is one organization that does debate. That's Youth Educational Forum, uh, and we focus on promoting debate for high school students and also for university students. We are quite well established with high school students because we have been doing this for quite a while. Um, in terms of university debate, we're still struggling a bit. We have cooperation with several uh, universities and a lot of faculties in Macedonia, but we have, a, we have a lot more to do if we want to be a well established PP community. How, do, how does the uh, Youth Educational Forum use debate to, let's say, affect the public discourse in Macedonia? Well, we do flash mobs. <laughs> no. Um, well, there are a couple of No. Uh, how does the Youth Educational Forum use the debate to, let's say, affect the public discourse and the media in Macedonia? Right. 
Uh, so there are a lot, we can, I can answer this on, on many levels. The first one, we organize a lot of competitive events, so that kind of helps our own organization and the debaters that are involved there, the coaches as well. Um, but we also do a lot of public events. We do a lot of public debates on issues that are perceived at that moment, at, uh, at that specific uh, time as uh, contradictory or um, very current events that are happening in Macedonia. So we want to contribute to the public discourse and to the arguments on both sides. So we've been doing uh, that type of events uh, a lot, like public debates. We also do a lot of public discussions, uh, public forums, etc. So we try to not only to focus on the competitive part of debating, but also to try to influence the public sphere in Macedonia in terms of the public discourse and the arguments that are created there. What were your expectations of the, this year's forum and have they been fulfilled up till now? Uh, well, the primary objective of the coaches and judges track is for everyone that is participating in, the, in that specific track uh, to learn something new about debate, to new something learn about an element of a debate, or some new teaching method. Thank you very much. Thank you.